Republican State Convention General Assembly. We're going to begin with an invocation, and it is my privilege to introduce Father Mike from the St. Edward's Catholic Parish here in Twin Falls, who will be delivering the invocation. For us Catholics, when they turn the lights down, that means last call. <laughs> It's nice to be amongst friends. I was very pleased this morning to see in the paper that there was a quote from one of the delegates from Lataw County. I'm being transferred up there next week, and I thought I may be the only Republican in the county. So. <laughs> nice to have friends. So let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed your glory to all nations. Through you, authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. As we gather for this convention, we especially pray for our elected officials entrusted to govern and represent our great state. We ask your spirit of wisdom and guidance over them and the delegates attending this convention. May all that we do be in accord with your divine will to promote true peace and liberty, allowing us to use the talents and the blessings you have bestowed upon us. And as a personal note, I ask you to truly help President Obama beginning November 7th to find a new job. <laughs> we pray to you, who are Lord and God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sheriff Carter, it is my honor to introduce the Twin Falls County Sheriff's uh, Honor Guard, who will be presenting our colors with the national anthem being sung by Claire and Laura Jones. If everyone will please stand. The Honor Guard is being led by former Marine Deputy Jody Jeske.
You have to give me a minute. I'm still reeling from that. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, on behalf of the Idaho State Republican Party, Twin Falls County Republican Central Committee, and myself, welcome to Scenic Twin Falls for the 2012 Republican Convention. My name is Rusty Satterwhite. I'm the chairman of the Convention Planning Committee. So if there's anything that's wrong, anything that you don't like, blame me. Uh, with that said, if there is anything, any part of this convention that didn't live up to your expectations, uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you lower your expectations. <laughs> the theme of this year's convention is riding the wave. And that's kind of a very, kind of a vague statement, so I want to be specific with what that means. Um, the wave is a system of conservative values that are sweeping the nation. A lot of people say conservatism, and that kind of doesn't really have a really distinct meaning. And so I started looking up, what does it mean to be a conservative? And I found that conservatism is synonymous with preservation and to preserve. And I'm like, that doesn't fit. Uh, when you have a nation whose leader takes a submissive bow to foreign dignitaries, when you have an environmental protection agency that is engaged in a scorch earth campaign against coal, energy, and job producing industries, when you have a justice department that is engaged in multiple lawsuits compelling individual states to abide by an overall rule, that's not something that I want to preserve. Uh, we are going to ride a wave of conservative values for the purpose of restoration. This convention is the start of that. The nation understands and is moving towards an area where those conservative values, limited government, the right to worship as you see fit, the right to have a job and provide for your family, the right that the government cannot and should not come in and take what is yours, and the understanding of the proper role of government. That is the principles that are sweeping this nation. We're fortunate enough that we're in Idaho. We've always had those principles. The rest of the nation is going to look to Idaho to reteach them on what it means to be an American. And that's going to start in November. In the days leading up to this, convention, the planning and everything, I'll have to admit, I want to be a Democrat. <laughs> it's very, very easy to accommodate 20 people for a state convention. <laughs> so. so with that, I'm going to get out of your hair. I'd like to introduce the Twin Falls County uh, Chairman Steve Millington, if you, there he is. to Twin Falls. <laughs> I was handed a note a few moments ago from the Greater Twin Falls Chamber of Commerce. They would, they have asked me to ask this fiscally conservative Republican organization to please pretend that for the next 48 hours you are Democrats. Spend, spend, and spend. <laughs> We're also part of Magic Valley. We like it, we love it, we think it's a great place. Magic Valley is yogurt country. Magic Valley is cheese country. It's milk country and potato country. And it's great people country. And Magic Valley is also cowboy 
country. The world today is in conflict. Wars rage everywhere. But in the United States, we are safe and free. And that is the result of a solid and determined United States Armed Forces. They, they stand ready to defend this great country. Would all of you who have served or are currently serving in the United States Armed Forces please stand so we can show our sincere thanks to all of you. It was Abraham Lincoln who penned the phrase that they are willing to give the last full measure of devotion. God bless them. We are engaged today and tomorrow in what I consider to be one of the most important aspects of the Democratic Republic. I refer to it as the Great Conversation. It is the freedom of speech. It is the grand expression of ideas. And it is a conclusion of the governing concepts that we need to use in our counties, states, and our federal government. It is a process whereby we secure our resolve and strengthen our values. It is important for each of us who are here today as delegates and as alternates and those who are visiting with us. It is important that we remember who we are. And it is imperative that we also remember who we represent. It is my hope that as we leave this convention Saturday afternoon, with a stronger determination to secure Republican values by successfully winning county offices, state legislative offices, congressional offices, and ultimately the presidency of the United States of America with solid Republican candidates. God bless you, you're my kind of people. God bless America, and God bless the great state of 